All right, Free Ray Ricky, how's it going? It's all good. What's up with you? Hey, grinding, man. I know like lot like you, man, out there working, man. The only way. They say if you don't work, you don't eat. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Man, that's that's the truth, man. Well, uh, since our last interview, a snowfall has finished. And Thank you. I don't think we talked about Snowfall, but if we did, we just barely touched about it last time. You know what they say? Thank God. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why thank God? You're happy it's over. Yeah, the show was awful. Awful. Yeah. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about it. Why was it awful? It's a bunch of bullshit, you know. They 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 threw some 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 real stuff in there to get the people hooked, and then they 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 served them the normal Hollywood black exploitation film, you know. And I, I didn't like it at all. I I I watched it for for a season, you know. Uh, David Mays had me. Uh, he hired me for his podcast, and and I watched it because I was getting paid, so I watched it. But uh, it was hard. It was hard for me to watch, you know. Lines in the backyard in South Central L.A. And, you know, people hanging from telephone poles. And I'm like, come on, man. Mm. Okay. What were some of the what were some of the things that they actually took from you? Well, you know, the, the, the most of it is, is uh, you know, being from South Central and. Uh, and the CIA connection, you know, my story is the only story that that I know of uh, where there was a CIA connection. Now I could be wrong, you know, maybe, 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 you know, there was another one, but I don't, I haven't heard of it yet. Well, I believe you guys both invested in real estate. Yeah. Both got in the game young. I think you guys both rode horses. Well, my friends had horses. I didn't ride them. I mean, I rode horses before, but I, I wasn't into horses. Uh, he was flying an airplane. You know, I, I was taking airplane flying lessons out of Hawthorne. I mean, you know, John John read my book. I mean, you know, and and, it, and there was things that I saw. I, I can't remember right now because I was so glad when, when, when I wasn't doing the podcast no more and I didn't have to watch that awful show. You know, and I hear people bragging about how, how great it is, but that, that just shows the state of, of, of black America, you know, that they would enjoy a show um, so awful. I mean, the guy was a serial killer. He had, what, 30 murders in South Central Los Angeles? Come on, ain't nobody getting away with no 30 murders in South Central. Not, not as a drug dealer, anyway. You know, they forgot about the Freeway Task Force who was going around locking up all the drug dealers and, and they always got their man. They never missed because they always planted the drugs. So they had to mix it up a little bit, you know, so that, uh, because, you know, I wanted to sue them about that show. I, I really wish I could have sued them. Uh, but, you know, the lawsuit that I had with the rapper kind of discouraged me. You know, I went through, I went through such a battle with that. Um, uh, and, and it and it threw my game off. It probably set me back about three or four years uh, where I could have been had I not been going through that lawsuit. Um, and I had to make a decision that I want to continue to go forward or if I wanted to stop and, 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 and get into another battle with, with, with another a conglomerate. I see. I see. Well, what would you have done different? With that show? Yeah. I mean, I would have told a real story, you know, if, if I would have been FX and, and they wanted to do a, a real Los Angeles drug movie, I mean, the, the name would have had to be Freeway Rick. I mean, there's no other name out there that um, that's a marquee name, you know, that name is a marquee name. But, I, you know, I know, and I know what happened, you know, I, I got it. You know, John probably went to FX and told him, you know, hey, I got Rick Ross and and uh, we want to do this TV series about him. And they was like, uh, the rapper? Oh, yeah, let's do it. And then they said, no, 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 the real one. And they was like, the real drug dealer? He's, he's a real? <laughs> we don't want no parts of that. 
you know, and, and that's usually how, how Hollywood deals with it, you know, uh, and that's why we had to go to movie independent, you know, we're doing the movie independent, so uh, I ain't got to put up with that Hollywood bullshit, you know, that, that they always want uh, black people to do wear dresses and, and, you know, talk like women and wear makeup and all that stuff, you know, I, I wasn't going to go for none of that. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.